Hello YouTube, it is Alp Viral over here and today I'm going to show you how you can remove Google Lock FRP on Samsung Galaxy Note 9 running Android 10. Okay, so as you see it is running on Android 10, I'm going to reboot the device and I'm going to connect it to Wi-Fi to show you that the phone is actually Google Locked. Okay, so for this process we will not need the computer, we will not need the SIM card, we will only need Wi-Fi connection to get off the Google lock. Okay, let's wait for the phone to start. Okay, perfect. Let's go. I'm connected to Wi-Fi already in order to save some time. Okay, as you can see the phone is actually Google locked, so this means that you will need to sign in with your previous email in order to unlock the phone but you forgot it or you don't have the previous email. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to the Wi-Fi selection page and over here you will click turn off and then hit next at the same second. So, But you will need to click turn off Wi-Fi first and then hit uh, next but you need to do it very fast it's almost same second so let me do it and you uh, and i will show you okay so if you do it correct you will you will get this loading icon over here the phone will crash somehow go next okay okay so you will need to do it one more time click okay you will turn on wi-fi again wait for a bit Okay, as soon as the phone connects to Wi-Fi, you will need to do it one more time. Turn off Wi-Fi and click Next very fast. Okay. One more time. Turn on Wi-Fi. Wait until it is connected to Wi-Fi. Again, T click Turn off Wi-Fi, hit Next. Okay, so you will need to do this several times uh, until the phone gets an another message. Let me do it and I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so I removed the SIM card also. Okay, so you will get the error like, like I did, the setup wizard stopped working. Okay, so you'll click on the app info. You'll need to scroll down, go to permissions. You should have a search icon over here. Click on the search. And over here you need to type Wi-Fi. Because we have disabled the Wi-Fi connection, so we need to enable the Wi-Fi also. Okay. Okay, so it is connected to Wi-Fi. Go back, back again. On the search, again, you will need to hit Chrome and you will need to go to Chrome. Click on Open on the bottom left. Accept and continue. Hit No Thanks. And here we are on Chrome. You need to go to google.com. Okay, here we are on google.com and over here you need to type Android 10 FRP by Alp Viral. Viral. Okay, 
So here we go, you need to open the first one. Okay, so open the first article that shows over here. Uh, so remove Google Lock on all Android 10 Samsung devices, no PC. Because this method actually works on other devices also, not only the Galaxy Note 9. You need to scroll down, and you need to find something that what you need to download. And you have two files over here. One is Remote One APK files and Help Viral FRP tool. The Remote One, you need to long press it and hit download link. Uh, okay, you will get a message over here. You need to click OK. Downloading file. So wait until the file is downloaded and you will need to hit open. Okay, hit open. Chrome has blocked the uh, installation, so you need to go to settings. You need to enable allow from this source. Hit the back button one time. Install and wait for the application to install. And you should not open the application, actually. You should just click done. Click done over here and go to the second file. Okay, scroll down. Find the green button that says click here to download. Here we have it. Again, long press and hit download link click ok file is downloading once you see open click open click open install open continue ok so now you need to click on the bypass frp go to settings go scroll down and go to biometrics and security scroll down other security settings device admin apps over here and you will need to check if any of this application is enabled if it is you need to disable in my case everything is okay because they are both off so once you confirm that you need to go back to settings go to applications or apps here, you, here it is and you need to find google play services let me scroll down and find it here it is google play service click disable on the bottom left disable app Click the uh, fourth stop. Okay, so it is disabled and fourth stop. Go back, back again. Okay, so over here you need to go to account and backup. Click on the first one, which is account, add account, Google. It is important that you choose Google over here. Okay, click continue. Click outside the white box, it doesn't really matter. Ignore the error messages. And over here you need to sign in with your Gmail account. I'm going to sign in with mine right now. Okay. Click outside the white message again. Again. Okay, so uh, ignoring the messages, here we have that the account is already added over here. So you need to go back to settings, go to apps, and you need to enable Google Play service, which we disabled earlier. So go to all apps and click disable. Click on Google Play services and hit enable. Okay, so once you do that, all you need to do is go back to the first page. Just go back to the very first page. Hit back too many times. Okay, so here we are. Let's go. Now hit start, hit next. Connect to Wi-Fi. We will need Wi-Fi. Perfect. So here we see account is added and it is ready to use. So hit next. Don't copy. Hit next. Hit next. I'd like to disable all of this, but you don't have to. It is not a must actually. Uh, protect your phone. Uh, I would like to choose Peter pattern. I, I always choose the pin. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now we need to scroll down, hit OK. Hit skip. For the Samsung account, but you can sign in with yours if you want. Click finish, and we will see that the, the phone is actually unlocked and ready to use.
but I would suggest you to make another factory set from settings in order to remove the application we installed earlier, which is FRP bypass over here, and the remote one, which you don't have it on the on the first screen. So you need to scroll down, you need to go to general management, hit reset, factory data reset, reset, one, two, three, four, it is a pin that we set up earlier, hit next again, delete all. Okay, so the phone now is resetting uh, in a safe reset method. This means that no Google 